have uh, I, I would have a different. So if I ask you to, to to define what property is to you, just you, not any property. other person. Property is uh, an acquisition. Okay, one is what acquisition. You, okay, go ahead. Yeah, what what you work for, and you want to acquire. Okay. Yes. So if there's no acquisition, if there's no acquisition, there's no property. Uh, no, no, no. You can't have uh, something you own without acquiring it. No, I'm saying is, uh, are you saying that uh, for property to exist, there must be acquisition in the mix? Yeah, yeah there's uh, acquisition. Uh, first, the methods of acquisition are different. No, no, I'm saying what is property first, then before we talk about acquisition. Yeah, there's, there's you need to see oh, there is the property, then you want it, then you acquire it. But what is property absent acquisition, absent transfer of rights? What yeah, is what what is property? What is it? Is it an object? Is it's it an object? It? Yes, it's an object. Okay. You you have you have a title to to that, like title deeds. You then own title deeds. That's what you own. You own the property now. Okay. Is cash property? Yeah, cash is property because it can acquire a property. No, but yeah. They, so, do you think it's important as we look at journalism? to agree or to negotiate a shared understanding of what property is before we can deal with the issue of the land reform in Zimbabwe. Yeah, it's important to understand what is property. Okay, somebody says, uh, is, pro is a person property? A human being is... Uh, we don't want to say it is a property, but uh, if you if you you have a child, that's your part of you, and it's uh, so I can property. I can dispose of my child because it's my property. No, that's, that, that's the difference. Uh, in human terms, you can't exchange pro, a human being, but where it used to happen is slavery. Okay, so yeah. And, so according to you, uh, if I take two stones, just mere stones, is it property? Objects. Those are objects. <laughs> All right. And uh, what's the difference yeah. with, with land? With land, that's the same. It's, a, it's an object. Okay. So we're dealing with objects. When does an object yes, become property? Once you acquire it, then you want to give value to it, you start giving value to the property. Uh, Can you give value where there's no value? What is it that conveys value on objects? Can a donkey give, give value or add value? Once, once you start paying something for it, that's, that's when it becomes uh, an ownership property. Okay, if I, if I buy fake diamonds, it becomes property. That that is fake. It's your it's your problem. But uh, you no, no. But you're you saying that uh, if you pay something for something, then automatically it becomes property. You have paid for it. That's correct because you thought your thoughts and whatever happened, it's it's nobody's business. You paid for it. So you are saying that property uh, is conferred when there's an exchange of value. Yes, that's it. Okay. And for, what if the value is inherent in that object so so altered by human creativity? When it exchanges hands, that's when there will be a problem. Yeah. We 
when it changes hands, that's when there will be a problem. So if I buy a Maserati and I, uh, let's say I keep it in my house, does it become property? It's your property. But the day you try to sell it, that's when your value is, uh, it matters. So what is it that would give an object uh, something of value? It's Can that happen in the, in, in the animal kingdom? Animals are sold, yes. Animals, not human beings. No, I'm saying in the animal kingdom, is there any animals. word, any word called property where no, they can no. fight over land, like all these uh, arguments about the white farmers, they stole land. How can you steal land? Can you see that happening? Absent the rule of law. What is theft? Theft is, is possession of something which doesn't belong to you. Taking yeah. by force or it, taking a, without permission. No, but the land is not created by men. So if I take land, have I deprived you of anything that is yours or you have not added value to the land? So your claim is zero. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because the land is out there on its own, and you you don't put it in your pocket or in your yeah in your house. So I may I may have the right title and interest to land, uh, yeah, but it, but it doesn't become property. I can't exclude it, you. I can't exclude you from enjoying it. Yeah, it becomes property when you put a fence around it and you know and protect it and bar but you must have coming. the law that will then put a disincentive you can put a fence and i can a elephant can come and destroy the fence yeah well that's an elephant but for human beings they should understand that it's a protected area but where there is no law and right. order where it's a mafia state yeah, they, Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's when there's a problem. <laughs> what is property uh, in a state where there's no respect for property rights? If there's no law, definitely you can't claim property. You can't pr claim property? No. Yeah. Anyone can come and occupy. Anyone can come and stay. All right. So you are saying that it's for, it's for it's property it's to it's exist, it's there must be rule of law. That's the first and foremost thing to have. All rule right. Of law. If, you don't have, if you don't have law, anyone can push you out. It's a jungle law. Survival of the fittest. Yeah. Whoever comes to occupy it needs to be stronger than you. That's it. All right. So... Yeah. If you look at now the relationship between men and land, men and government, government and land, do you see any journalist known to you as an experienced journalist who can unpack this relationship or relationships? We start with with land and men. What kind of relationship is it? Between, between who and who? Between land and men. Yeah, men has occupied land from uh, the past, from ancestors. That's what we own. But when it comes to bigger picture, uh, the whole uh, land in Zimbabwe. No, no, we're just talking Africa. about generic understanding the principles to guide uh, critical thinking, critical analysis. Yeah, man, man has owned a piece of land. No, no, I'm saying is that the, in the beginning of time, there is man, there's a donkey, there's a horse, there's a cow. They all have relationship with land. Yeah, the animals don't have ownership. They just graze and go back. Yeah. 
So, but, see, but man, they also have a relationship with land. Uh, it definitely is. Yes, but have. they can't claim ownership. They can't claim title. They can't exclude others, except if the uh, there's a bigger animal that can eat chow me, that can eat me. Then that would be a disincentive. That's what they call the yeah, law of the jungle. If there's a lion, the lion owns everything and can eat anyone. <laughs> That's right. So yeah, I just uh, so, so, uh, the lion owns the land, <laughs> not uh, personally, but it's just like the control of uh, the resources around here. Okay, but do you think that uh, this uh, uh, question of what is property? Uh, is something that ought to be discussed, shared, and interrogated? Let's say if the people have different views, would you want to be part of this uh, conversation uh, where we interrogate uh, this question of property? What is property in the affairs of mankind? What is the role, if any, of government, of the people in relation to land? Yeah, property is defined by law. No, but there is something that we may be missing. I say your question is asking if land is property or an object, it's both. That's uh, one person is saying it's both. And you have said it's both. And uh, uh, can you create property without the human being? Can property be created without human involvement? No, only human beings deal with the ownership of property. But that is where there is the rule of law. So what yes, is it exactly. that the rule of law achieves in terms of rights and obligations? The, the rule of law controls you to stick to your place, to your property and we know the boundaries. So do you agree that like the Bible talks uh, of uh, that uh, uh, labor itself is what creates property? The materials given common to all is not property. Gold is not property. Platinum is not property. It only acquires property with human involvement. But a yeah, lion would, would, would not know how to create a mango into property. No. Huh? It won't. It won't. No, it won't. Animals, uh, the animal kingdom, uh, it's not involved in properties. They just graze and go. Okay. So that is, uh, Marcy, the question is, do you think... Uh, these questions are too hypothetical and irrelevant, abstract. And uh, if you look at journalism, do you think there must be a foundation of thought that then can inform the arguments that follow? And the fact that we are talking with Mr. Chivasa here in the UK and the project we are promoting is... Uh, media excellence can we have media excellence those who inform educate entertainers can take uh, arguments and pack them they are relevant and abstract so what is abstract so that we can deal with uh, the abstract then we should have a foundation of thought that deals with these uh, uh, ageless questions? Because this is not the first time we're asking this question. And- uh, uh, It's been uh, discussed over and over. 
yeah, since the beginning of time. So what examples yeah. do you have, Marcy, that will then be able to expose what is property and uh, be able to distinguish between a white person and black person when they all come from the same womb? Why should we call them white farmers in relation to land? Why should we pay improvements when uh, improvements are not generally understood? Land and value added on land to arrive at lucrative, uh, lucrativity of land to make it property. Whether it's lucrative or not, once you have added your personality in an object given common to all, it ceases to be an object and it can be protected because you have added value in it. What about if Joe Block says protect God's creation? It's mine because I was born here. What would be the different argument for an animal? Uh, an animal doesn't have uh, any rights to property. No, objects it has because it has to walk on the same land. It has to use the same absent land. Animals can't survive as well. Yeah, but they can be moved to other areas. But there has like to be land street. in the mix. Whose land is it? And it why are they not be. paying rent? Human beings on the land. No, who land. gave <laughs> them that ownership when ownership is a legal construct? It's by uh, naturally growing up there, people uh, uh, reward themselves or award themselves with property because they own it. They stay there. Yeah. So if uh, what we are talking about is uh, uh, understanding that we need to uh, get to a stage where we have a shared understanding. and uh, Even if we share it, uh, some people will still argue and will have their own way. No, th I let's not worry about those who choose to argue because they must argue. But let's look at this uh, relationship between property and gifts of nature. Yes. Yeah. Animals ben benefit from the, uh, the land because it's a gift of nature and they graze on it, they live on it. They don't claim. So they have, they a, re they have a relationship with land. And they're entitled to feed. <laughs> yeah. So on if, the land. On the land. So I think that's yes. all I wanted uh, you to share uh, for the sea to see it, to make sure that there are many people who don't understand what we're trying to do uh, in order to the build animal, a community of shared, the animal, uh, of shared understanding. The the animal is entitled to that land because it has to feed and survive. And it also is vegetation created not by men. <laughs> yes. So the it's creator natural. created room for all these creatures, including yes. minerals hidden. Under the soil, yeah. Yeah. So the earth's greatest treasure is the human being. Yeah, uh, maybe the wisdom how to utilize that uh, those natural resources. Yeah. So uh, for a donkey, what is gold? It's nothing. It's nothing. There's no value. Because only it only requires grazing. That's that right. Plant. It can walk over gold, uh, uh, manganese, <laughs> lithium, <laughs> vanadium. It will never make a battery. No. Yeah. So even to a subsistence farmer, there is civilization. Yeah, 
I can walk over with my spear and my bow and arrow, whatever it is. I'm holding. It may be lethal. So what is property then absent institutions created by men? Yeah, men create uh, laws. That protect those who are hardworking. Yes. Who create they, property. They, cr they create boundaries and laws. Yeah. On, on land so that no one uh, goes into that area. They declare this piece or space. It's now theirs. It's now theirs. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And create prices, uh, value for it. Yeah, so that's what we are trying to provoke so that uh, those who have the job to inform, to educate, to entertain, they can do so having thought through some of the issues that need to be openly and frankly debated. <coughs> but it also depends uh, if, the, if the government is going to listen and follow the, 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 the rules or laws. And why land. why are you bringing government in it? Because it, it claims to control all the land. Yeah. And no, the, what is government to you? That's for another day. Uh, That's for another day. Another day, yeah, okay. But today, we just wanted to provoke thinking around property. What is property? And property is an acquisition, acquisition, a piece of land, object, whatever. No, yeah. oh, no, we want to provoke that. You are already answering. What we are saying is it's something that we need. Uh, we need to interrogate. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's, 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 a, it's a great debate. You can formulate a, a very good debate. And can we have training around it so that people like you, experience, can talk to this, give all the visions of what property is and is not? How does an object of nature become property? And how best we have equity in the allocation of access to these resources that are given common to all. And when they get it, what is the obligation to society for those who have the privilege of uh, getting concessions to uh, prospect and also to extract and process minerals? Whose minerals are they? Whose grass is it? Whose flora and fauna is it? And uh, how many people claim something they've ne never added value to? Even in terms of property, getting the legal framework to make sure that those who get the license can be protected for the duration of the license. Those who need to prospect can do so without somebody coming when I find something to say, hang on, it's mine as well, because I was the original man. It was mine before you came here, you little thief. How dare you leave Europe or China to come and take my property when there's no, you don't even know where the property is. There are many people who don't even even know have coexisted with the valuable minerals, but never knew the value. So there was never a point yeah. of extracting them. How many farmers have produced tomatoes only to find there's no diesel to take them to the market and they rot because you don't have what it takes. How many people don't think storage and temperature control is part of commercial farming. How many people think a subsistence farmer 
can graduate into a commercial farmer when he doesn't even pay payroll for himself, when he is paid by the crop, by the animals he hunts and captures. How many people don't understand the ecosystem, the value chain, yet they claim value without participating in the chain of value adding? Yeah, um, they can claim because uh, of power. People claim because they can claim because they've got authority to claim. Uh, like a chief mm -hmm. can claim that this, uh, this area is his. They claim uh, anything. All right. So is, is that claim competent, according to you? All right, that chief, uh, if uh, it's not competent because um, the chief simply claims because he inherited from the past. So what is a competent claim? A competent claim will be the one with uh, regulations, rules and reg regulations where you follow the laws. And whose laws are you talking about? What if somebody yeah. says, if they are not my laws, they fall outside my uh, compliance? The laws uh, start from uh, local area, local authorities, local people, and expand uh, up, right up to the chiefs. Because the government doesn't know about uh, much about local people, local control of uh, villages yeah it's the people uh, the local people who know okay then it expands yeah then it expands that, that, then that makes it law what people are saying all right about the local area yeah yeah because if you if the government won't know anything about uh, my village uh, but i'll tell them this is what why we are here how we came here all right uh, so i think uh, uh if you are there and you're watching this is uh, brought to you by the 1873 as part of our literacy campaign that if you know better you act better if you don't know what value is then you can't know what property is so when you're talking yeah. it's nothing to do with your skin color there must be something you claim in that object that will make it difficult. So when I when I alienate you from a car, even in a car, a plane, there is human labor in it, but you can't unscramble it and say this is 10% labor, this is 10% a plane. Once it's crystallized, it becomes cemented into one identity you call it a plane but there are so many parts that are in it to make a plane but you can't then divide it and you say like a human being you divide a human being and you say the leg is black then there's a portion that is black uh, the hand is white that's a portion that is white so we are indivisible. What is good for a human being must be good for all human beings. If you are going to expropriate my labor in something, then you are already stripping me, alienating me from myself. And when you do so, you are infringing on my rights as a citizen. So there are constitutional issues, there are legal issues that have to be debated and discussed and understood so that a shared understanding can then follow. Right now, there are people in these arguments who don't know what property is, who don't know what land is, and they conflict arguments because we are all trigger happy. I'll just go and go live so easy. I'll just tweet 
So easy. I'll just share on Facebook. So easy. And then the public at large ends up angry. Some don't even read the Constitution. That actually the compensation is part of the Constitution. Some people are proud to have written the Constitution. Yet after writing it, they never understood what the implications are. There are many so-called lawyers who are now debating something that has always been in the Constitution. <laughs> yeah, the, the, it happens. The lawyers uh, and the public don't often read the Constitution. But do we... So they only do, read it. Do you they only read it okay, when there is a problem. I, yeah, when there's a problem, that's when people try to. When I'm sick, I look. Around. I look for a doctor. When I'm not sick, I don't need a doctor. That's it. That's it. Yeah, true. Okay. So, any last words, uh, Mister Chivasa? Um, I would just say, uh, let's follow the the laws of the land. Okay. So yes. that's one conclusion. My conclusion is that let's keep on talking. What is property? What is an object? What is a gift of nature that exists independent of man? When men interferes with gifts of nature, problems are solved. If I need to go somewhere faster, I'll use a car, I'll use a plane, i use a boat, i use a ship. But all these are created by men. We create property out of gifts of nature. But human beings on their own, me on my own, I'm incapable of imagining something and bringing into an existence without the objects created. They remain objects until a human being wants to solve problems. So who would create objects of value and not call it property for themselves? That person cannot be a human being. It can't be. So property yeah. is a human value addition. Objects exist for all creatures, including mountains, including uh, trees, bananas, apples. They all need land. So the creator was alive to what life is and what ought to accompany life. Absent those gifts, there is nothing called land. It is of no value except to those who behave like animals as well. But if you want to advance, to build cities, to build infrastructure, you must accept this division of labor. You can acquire property on a small piece of ground, but you still need to eat. You still need to enjoy the fruits of being a human being. So being human, is the biggest property creator in the history of civilization. So thank you. Yes, when uh, when uh, once a human being arrives on a piece of land, that, that, that's when we have a problem. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all, all the time it's okay. I thought, don't worry about. I thought human beings provide an answer to problems. And you are saying human beings create problems. So I think that's, yes. that's a good... They, they create, 
yeah, they create problems because uh, they start interfering with nature. They start cutting trees. They start uh, causing erosion. All sorts of things begin to happen unless you put a law. It's chaos. All right. So yes. thank you very much. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.